Everybody loves Raymond. Raymond Franz. Is it true that we can say that about the rest of them? Now that particular picture, that will stay in my memory for quite some time. I remember those uh, particular group of governing body members. Certainly Nathan Noor. He gave the closing talk on the Sunday at the 1969 Melbourne Assembly. So I remember him from then. And I'd heard rumours about Raymond Franz uh, before he'd actually decided to part waves with the Jehovah's Witnesses. I'd heard rumours that uh, one of the governing body members was uh, not exactly towing the line. I think that's what they were saying at the time. You know, they were saying he was acting a bit independently. And uh, lo and behold, little did I know that uh, he just decided that he couldn't go on as being a member of anymore and so left and that took some bravery to do that because most people they tend to just conform don't they to what the majority are doing they, they don't usually have it about them to make a stand for what their heart is telling us and uh, Raymond he listened to his heart and then decided that uh, he couldn't go on as one of them and that particular picture um, it's quite a famous picture really that was when the governing body were very much very secretive about what, what they used to do and where they used to go and everything they certainly didn't sort of uh, publicise themselves too much back then they kept themselves in the background very much so and so what's made the difference now why are the governing body of today so in your face why are they taking the direction and taking lead in the direction more than they ever have if it's the same organization since its onset why were not all the governing body making this kind of lead or is it just because that we've moved into a new technological era that we're seeing that the governing body is just having a lot more upfront um, experiences whereas before they may have been doing it behind closed doors it's an interesting one